So I have a relatively new Kenwood. It's the uh, THD 72. There's a great video already on that uh, has the teardown of a THD 74. Do a search for it. Um, it's very good. It gave me the encouragement to take this one apart. But here's the deal. The speaker stopped responding within the last few hours. Um, I just was, got this uh, a couple days ago from a friend and it was working fine and now there is nothing. There are no beeps uh, when you click the various buttons. There's no on um, and I've messed with the speaker. But here's what's interesting. So right now I've got it on the uh, weather forecast from NOAA and if I put in the speakers or the uh, earpieces suddenly so the unit itself is actually working um, and I think the speaker's gone bad. Doing a search online, I found that uh, quite a few people do have problems with the speakers. Uh, we'll take a look. I don't know if maybe something's messed up and the speaker is fine, but the electronics leading to it or if it's actually uh, something else. So let's uh, get into it. So here we've got the Kenwood, obviously not working right now. Um, so let's take it apart. First thing, I already took this off. Take off the antenna and we'll take off these buttons gently. There's actually nothing else to take apart in here, which is nice. Um, let's turn it off. Take the battery off. And uh, two, two screws right there. All right, those two screws come out. That's really pretty much all there is for the whole thing. So what's going to end up happening now is this whole thing, this inside, shifts down. But before, there's one other thing to take care of. This little weatherproofing for all these little gadgets, which this is nice to know how this gets replaced. Go ahead and take these, this out. Get that. And then lift this tab up and over. Now just make it a little easier. Gently pull it out. Set that off to the side. Okay. So now, this whole thing, gently pull it up and out. And it comes out. Now we've got the speaker assembly. Now here is what's interesting. Let's, uh, let's do a little troubleshooting. We're going to turn it on. Maybe, oh, got to put the battery in. That really helps. All right, so now, obviously we don't hear anything, but I have this little uh, piezo speaker, which will be enough. Let me uh, go down to the weather, or up, down, down here. Okay, channel one for around this area. What I wanna do is get to the leads on the back of that. So this little Phillips, that out flip this over and there are the leads so here is what I did take these two and just replace them on these leads oh I'm not gonna hear anything because I don't have the antenna on let's put the antenna back on so I get some something So um, that tells me that it is a bad speaker. It's not the electronics inside of it. And I don't see anything that's really blown. So um, to me, it's a replacement of this speaker. And they sell it. Uh, I did find that if you carefully push at different places on here, um, this is very interesting. If I push in different areas, this speaker begins to work. There are those broken wires, basically what happens is they're approximately here and here. And there are little cables that come up and out that connect to the coil. Here you can see it on a clear one. And on this clear one, it's this bottom um, connector wire that is probably frayed because earlier when I was pushing on this that part would work 
Here we go. So now it's a matter of putting the new one in, which I'll get a little bit later. In the meantime, I can just choose headphones. Now putting this together is actually fairly straightforward. Let me turn this back off. Um, but it, it is the reverse, of course, of what we did to take it apart, except there are a few things that really help to put it back together. First of all, uh, when you go to put it back, put this cover, well, first of all, let's put the speaker back on. Let's pretend that I replaced the speaker. Antenna out, got that, got that piece back in. Everything's pretty good. Um, this, put the cover on first. Trying to slide it in later is a pain. On this, you will notice that here there's a slit and this button has a slit that needs to kind of go in there. Not kind of, it does. And you'll feel it kind of click in. So do that. Then, I carefully put it back in here and slide it back. Now when you slide it back in, you're going to find some of these buttons start to get weird and you have to carefully push them into the appropriate place and then pop, you're back in. You're in business, everything lines up. Take this little piece on the side, the weather protection. That actually isn't too bad to do beforehand, but it's easy enough afterwards. There, that's back on. Replace your screws, put the knobs back on, and you're good. And if you find that your buttons don't work and you can't control any of this, it's probably one of these buttons is stuck down and you can only have one item at a time. Hope the video was helpful, especially if you're having, um, if you have one of these Kenwood TH D72s, and if you have a bad speaker, um, this is a good chance to replace it. Uh, for about 20 bucks, you can replace the speaker. It's very simple. There are a few soldering points you'll have to uh, take care of, um, but the main thing is you can test it out very easy.